Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. A gigantically reoccurring story out there is several top Twitch streamers from the League of Legends scene have now doubled down on the Hashin Shin not being banned on Twitch yet, following several accusations of predatory behavior towards underage girls, possibly soliciting them and grooming same said underage girls as well. It was actually first on July 15th, a video surfacing of these accusations, a variety of evidence being shown. Ever since then, another post on Twitter by a user named Kat had also talked about her story potentially being groomed at the age of just 15 years old, as well as being sexualized by the Twitch streamer known as Hashin Shin. Those same claims have been backed up by many people out there, including top, top Twitch streamers such as I Will Dominate, Voice boy as well as Yasuo expressing their concerns of a Twitch streamer facing such gigantic accusations and still being able to and even doing so uh, streaming on the Twitch platform the same platform he supposedly used at least in some of these cases you know to solicit these underage girls via Twitch messages it's an incredibly terrible story to have to cover for all of you guys i will link everything you need to know down below in order when it comes time for shin shin's first response then his updated response the video exposing him alongside the post by cat and other responses by people like iwd voy boy and yasuo will all be linked down below and this actually first all service like i said on july 15th when that video came out exposing a shin shin with a variety of evidence this was actually shortly there followed by the post by that twitter user known as cat and her experience potentially being groomed by Hashin Shin at a very young age. This is when Hashin Shin posts his first response. That response has now been deleted. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a, a clear state of um, uh, a, a clear case of someone having a very, very fragile mental state. Uh, it's in this first post where Shin Shin does admit he actually had attempted suicide. And along with that, giving his reasoning uh, for these stories, the reason why he deleted this as well is because in this post, he seemingly does admit guilt for at least some of these accusations. As after he admits to attempting to take his own life, he also claims he cannot remember the events which did occur years ago, partially due to what he calls a carbon monoxide poisoning that put him in a foggy state of mind. He goes on to state, I'm not trying to admit guilt, or I am. I don't know. I can't disprove it anyway. That means I did it, I guess. Did I? I don't know. At either rate, I can't say I didn't. That one thing is such horse crap. I groomed her in a day. I didn't. We all know that. That one girl, though, that story seems plausible. I can't disprove that. At least I don't think I can at any rate. Man, it really makes me hate myself. He then continued on later on to state, I'm not denying victims their justice, I'm denying fakers their BS. This is the first victim that I think might be true, maybe, I don't know. I just wanted it to be proven, isn't that fair? He has since posted a different apology, which certainly focuses on, I would say, a, a lot more different points. He reassesses himself as well as denying soliciting nudes from these girls and grooming said underage women as well. Now, ever since then, we've had reposted things and, of course, uh, a lot of tweets out there from these top Twitch streamers, which I will read for all of you. This is, uh, this, is, uh, this is a tough one. As Yasuo took to Twitter to say, So Shin Shin was exposed for being a pedophile, claimed it was all fake, harassed the victims, declared innocence, irrefutable proof came out, he put out a half apology, since then he's deleted the apology and kept his tweet claiming his innocence pinned, what am I missing? Boybug goes on to quote that tweet saying, Hashin Shin is a manipulator, predator, and worst of all, a pedophile who used his platform to abuse so many underage girls over the years. There's multiple sources of undeniable proof, and he admitted it himself. He is scum and deserves nothing. Keep these monsters away from our kids. IWD adding to all of this saying, Daily reminder that Hashin Shin is still a confirmed pedophile who has used the Twitch platform to groom children and still continues to stream. And with all of this and Shin Shin's updated apology as well, he says he will continue to be streaming non-league related streams as well as being heavily monitored. Of course, with him attempting to take his own life, this, this makes the matter all the more serious and I, I just don't know where I fall on this. You know, if I'm being honest, when I read his first apology, he did at least you know, seemingly not deny all the allegations, admitted at least partially to that guilt as well in those allegations. I don't know where we go from here. I imagine Twitch is is trying to figure out their, their side on this circumstance as well and maybe a bit delayed given the severity and the layers of this case. At least I can hope that they are looking through all of this, especially as more Twitch streamers continue to speak up about it. I, 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 I just hope that he is taking good care of his mental health. Obviously, what he did, if these accusations do come out to be even further proven as the, the proof is out there, it's disgusting behavior. And, and a lot of people, rightfully so, will feel that he does not deserve to use the platform which he used to, you know, you know, 
exercise that disgusting behavior, and I would agree with that claim as well. It's just an incredibly sucky situation to see. I do apologize, guys. Um, everything you need to know will be linked down below. I haven't covered a story like this in a couple of weeks, so uh, dipping back into this has just been a, a, a tough adjustment. Several top League of Legends Twitch streamers have now uh, continued to call out Hashin Shin for these accusations, which seemingly a lot of them have called undeniable proof of him being a pedophile and grooming underage girls, and have been calling for him to be banned on the Twitch platform which many people do feel is justified given his accusations and his actions in the past. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I will see you guys back here sometime later today. Drink that water, drink that coffee, take care of yourselves.